guys, so if you saw my Christmas vlog, you know, my family got a Switch. Splatoon 2 bundle. So these are really cool colors. But how do I like it? Do I like the feel, the weight? It's pretty, it's kind of heavy. But the one thing I like about it is its portability. Where the Wii U was not portable. But this is. So, and, you just put it in, and if you don't want to play it on the TV, if someone else wants to watch TV or something like that, then take it out and play it on here. And the games are fantastic. So far we have Splatoon 2, um... Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We've been playing all of them. They are like the best. This is like surprisingly my family this charges with USB-C. Surprisingly my family doesn't have any other USB-C cables. Okay. But this is really cool. The eShop. Ooh, the settings. Let me show you guys my page. This. So, um, after owning a game for 10 days, it tells you how much of it you've played. So, like, after 10 days, so it'll say, like, you've played, like, 50 hours or something like that. And so, oh, my friend code. I'm going to show you guys that at the end, if any of you have a Switch, or if anybody even watches this video. But, life, we got a pro controller. This thing is like the best controller. Like, I've never owned a Wii or Wii U one, but this is like one of the best controllers Nintendo's made. Because like the D-pads and stuff like that on the Wii controllers, I loved the Wii controllers, I loved the Wii U, uh, but it wasn't doing it for me. This, oh, didn't mean to do that, didn't know it was paired, but um, this thing is like so cool. I love this. <clears throat> you can't really see the dock that well. But, and this. You can just take Joy Cons off, set it up, set up the switch up. You guys can't really see it, so I'll try and put it on top of the case, the case we got with the switch. You can barely see it. You can put the controllers on here, and then you can play. But the one thing that I find hilarious about the switch, let me just turn it off. Let me show you this. So watch this. You have the switch right here. Let's turn this around so you guys have a better view. I'm sorry, this is not a good quality video. I'm filming it with my iPad, not my camera. You can actually put these on backwards. And it doesn't register. Look at that. Just look at that. Like, you're playing a Switch game, but you realize, oh no, the Joy-Cons are backwards. My thoughts on the Switch. Out of 10, I give this console a 8 out of 10. I mean, like, I love this thing, but if I were to really love it, the games would have need to be cheaper, and um, the Joy-Cons and controllers need to be cheaper. We have seven people in my family, and most games can only play up to four people. That's not good. <laughs> Imagine just a phone like this. Imagine this was a phone. You're like playing a game. Playing a game, you get a call. Pause. Hello. Yes, this is Jessica. Mm. I know, Tiffany. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I did that. I'm in my Wyndham house right now, so 
we traveled. My brother, as you saw in the, uh, the Christmas vlog, if you even bothered to watch that, because it was 15 minutes long, but he hooked it up. He hooked it up to the TV in our car, so we know how to do it now. So whenever we go on a long trip, we're bringing the switch, the dock, everything, so we can set it up when we get there, and we can set it up in the car. It's especially useful in a long car trip because then we can just play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Speaking of Mario Kart 8, I love that game. God, I spit. Okay. And I love these Joy-Con straps. When this neon yellow controller was a pre-owned from GameStop. God. Oh, and I found, I was like, my brother put it on like this, and I was like, oh no, Tommy, you messed up. Uh, but, came off. There's no other way to put it on, so I guess that was the way. I mean, the only way it could get stuck is if you put it on and you lock it and pretend it's stuck. And then you can just unlock it and take it off. Like, you don't... When you do it like this with the new Joy-Cons, I think they fixed it. You don't even have to press the button to get it off when it's...